Hey there Remodelaholics, this is Cassidy. We're back with a new tutorial this week. Please be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any weekly videos. This week our contributor Betty from Oh Everything Handmade completed an amazing IKEA hack that will knock your socks off. While we like building from scratch, we also like saving time and money by using pre-made pieces as a base for a project. Like when we built our super cool bunk bed playhouse, we used an Ikea bed. And you can check out the video. Well today, Betty is hacking a super popular Kalax. Okay, I am not gonna say anything right when it comes to Ikea names, so just plan on that. Kalax cube shelf and turning it into a beautiful flat file cabinet with plenty of storage. It features one large drawer and then five smaller flat file drawers, which are perfect for holding smaller items and things like kids' artwork. In addition to your IKEA shelf, you'll need a sheet of three quarter inch plywood, a sheet of one quarter inch plywood, and a handful of one by twos. Grab the full materials list and written instructions that are printable over at remodelaholic.com. To start, you'll assemble the shelf following the directions. That's everyone's favorite part of Ikea furniture, right? <laughs> Except you'll leave out the middle dividers on the top and bottom shelves, so instead of four cubes, you'll have two wide rectangular shelf openings. Then it's time to build and install your drawers. For the larger bottom drawer, you'll use three quarter inch plywood for the entire drawer, and then add some faux drawer fronts. Cut your drawer front and back, two sides and bottom to size, and also cut the five faux drawer fronts. Sand all of the pieces. Add pocket holes to the drawer bottom and to the outside edges of the sides. Attach the drawer bottom to the back piece, then attach the sides using glue and pocket hole screws. Betty also attached the drawer front at this point, but she recommends attaching the drawer slides before the front to make it easier. Add the faux drawer fronts using nails. Betty used her hardware to hide all the nail holes, which is smart. It's starting to look amazing. Add a panel of quarter inch plywood to each side of the drawer to hide the pocket holes and give the drawer a nice clean look. Next, build the five flat file drawers. Cut the one by two pieces according to the cut list and drill the pocket hole screws in the ends of the shorter pieces. Give all of the pieces a good sanding. Assemble the drawer sides using glue and pocket hole screws. Check for square and attach the quarter inch plywood bottom using glue and nails. Woohoo! Just look at that pretty drawer. Attach and install the drawer slides, leaving one eighth of an inch between the shelf and the drawer. Then add the drawer front so that it is almost flush with the shelf. Using glue and clamping the drawer front in place while screwing it in place from the inside of the drawer. As you install the other drawer slides and the drawers, use a scrap board for even spacing. Stain the drawer fronts to your liking. Betty used one coat of black water-based stain and one coat of gray water-based stain on top to create this really beautiful color. Add your drawer poles and put your new cabinet on display. Betty also added feet to her cabinet and I think it looks amazing. Please leave Betty some love in the comments below and let her know how much you like this awesome IKEA hack. For those of you fellow IKEA hackers, watch this video to see how Medina hacked a shelf into a wall planter. It's so beautiful. And watch this video to show you how we turned an IKEA bunk bed into the coolest playhouse for our girls. Literally the coolest ever. It's so cute.
please don't forget to click subscribe and keep watching the rest of our videos. We will see you again next week. Bye.